Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a 2023 Toyota Tundra 1794 in the color blue. Let's take a look. So starting up front here underneath the hood we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 437 horsepower and 583 pound foot of torque. Up front of course we have our headlamps, daytime running lights and the fog lights. If you look Across your front bumper, you'll also see these little round nodules. These are your front-facing parking sensors. And underneath your front logo on the grill here, you have your front-facing camera. As we move along to the side here, we have our alloy wheels, and then a side mirrors with integrated turn signals and a blind spot monitoring, as well as puddle lights. And if you look under, you'll find an additional camera, which contributes to full surround view camera effect. These side mirrors also have the built-in ability to move in and out with controls found inside the driver's side of the cab. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Down front on the front of the doors, we also have your trim level badging, the 1794. As you move back, you'll find that all of your rear windows do come with factory tinting. And in the back here, we do have our tail bed lights that are currently turned on. These can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. If you look just in between them, you'll find a couple of additional cameras that contribute, again, to the surround view camera effect, as well as to a neat little trick that your rear view mirror can do. We'll take a look at that inside as well. Coming up to the back along your rear bumper, we again have rear parking sensors here. Underneath, you will find your spare tire. And looking right on your handle is where you'll find your backup camera. To open up your rear space here, Simply release the button underneath where this handle is, and it will open itself gently from there. You see that we do have the Tundra emblem built in here, as well as bed lighting as we look along on the inside. On the right-hand side, we do have an additional power outlet, too. And to raise up, just lift up your tail bed up and lock it into place. Other ways that you can open your tail bed like this instead of releasing under the handle is using the fob or there is a little button on the driver's side of your tail light if you press this it will open up as well next let's take a look at the inside so inside here you'll see that your internal upholstery is this lovely brown colored leatherette with this cream colored stitching and texturing in the middle as well as having these slate gray pops of color we do have the built-in armrest slash cup holder which just as easily folds away, of course, to increase your seating space. Up top in the middle here, as well as on the outside passenger side of the seat, you'll find these little straps that allow you to pull your seats back to access a bit of additional storage space behind. You also have the ability to pull this one right here, which can pop up your seats to access some additional space underneath here too. On the back of both your front passenger seat and front driver's seat, we have a pouch storage. And in the back of the console, we have both cup holder spaces as well as both heated and cooled seats for your rear passengers and additional charging spaces. Rear passengers have a great view of the panoramic moonroof here and have the Tundra 1794 rubber and carpet combo mats, which you'll find throughout the unit. In the back here, a great amount of storage space with some additional pops of the wood grain trim that you'll find throughout the front of the cab. And we also have the built-in sunshade just as easily this extends upwards and locks into place just as it is on the other side window and then can just unhook from there and then go flat in with the door panel as you move forward from there take a look at your handle you'll find this little divot on the left hand side this indicates keyless entry you can tap your hand here to lock and unlock inside your driver's door we have a look at the interior ambient lighting and then we have the power windows for front and back, as well as child safety lock, power lock system, and side mirror controls. On the left-hand side, this allows you to fold your mirrors in flat with your vehicle. This can work automatically with locking and unlocking, or it can be done manually using these controls. Underneath this is your memory seat settings, which means that you have electronically adjustable seats, back, front, up, down, and your lumbar support. This little button on the end allows you to extend the space underneath your knees for some additional support. Your front passenger seat is also electronically adjustable. 
Hood release latch is on the bottom left hand side of your dash. Above that, quite a lot of controls. It includes controls for your heated leather steering wheel, AC power, the puddle lights, extensions for your side mirrors as I had pointed out earlier. This control allows your vehicle to use its rear parking sensors and if you're getting too close to an object while in drive, it will stop you. We also have odometer trip, dash brightness, your automatic on off, headlamp controls as well as the control for your bed lamps. We then have your power adjustable tilt and telescopic for your steering wheel. Speaking of which, let's hop up there and take a look at it. So, on your left hand side is your controls for your dash display, hands free communication, and volume control. On the right, you have your radio controls on the bottom, and then everything for adaptive cruise control up top, including your sonar and your lane departure. Up top, you'll find that we do have the heads up display, which is indicated by this little box shaped projector. A little hard to see in the daylight with the showroom light, but if you look really closely, you'll notice little symbols up front. This way, you can always see what speed you're going, as well as a couple of other notifications without having to take your eyes off of the road. In the middle, we have a little storage space with an additional 12 volt adapter. Under that is your infotainment display center. We have this really large screen here, so you access much of the information about your daily driving experience including your optional navigation and all of your audio listening. This unit does come with AM, FM, and satellite radio. Also has a full Bluetooth connectivity and optional adapters for both USB and AUX listening. Underneath that is your climate control. We have a dual climate control so that you and your front passenger can have your own unique temperature settings or sync them up to work in unison. We then have your defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as side mirrors, and then both heated and cooled tri-levels for your two front seats. Next to this is your push start ignition with trailer controls both underneath and on the side. This is your control to see your full surround view cameras. Give it a press and it'll show you the full view of everything around you. That way you have no blind spots, no worries about what is or isn't going on. Next to that is your traction control and your four ways. And then we have this little black rectangle with this little symbol in the middle and a glowing green dot. This is a wireless charging pad for all compatible devices. Great location allows your phone to stay upright so that you can see what's going on without having to fidget around with it. And it won't lose any charge during your trips. Then, of course, you have your gear shift with your parking controls in front. Just back from there is where you have your drive and tow modes, as well as your two, your two wheel, four high and four low. Lots of wood grain trim found throughout this unit. In the console, we have some additional charging spaces too, with of course the pop down, pop up cup holders in here. On the leather dash, if you look all the way to the right, you will again find your 1794 emblem etched into here. And then looking upwards on your rear view mirror, you'll find these controls with one, two, or three dots. Those are your garage door openers. In addition to that, if you flick this upwards, you'll be able to access the camera display that is accessed with one of the cameras that is between the rear bed lights. This way, if you have anything blocking your view inside the cab, whether it's passengers or cargo, you can just skip right through that and just look straight to behind you just as easily flick it back to get your normal reflective surface. Above that, we have your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, controls for overhead lighting, as well as that ambient mood lighting, and controls for this panoramic moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this 2023 Toyota Tundra 1794 in the color blue. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.